what's been going on? Recession looming, energy bills spiralling. So what's the MP for West Suffolk done? I'm a former health secretary. Get me out of here. Matt Hancock signs up for the jungle. Matt Hancock sees this as the perfect opportunity to engage with some 12 million viewers on ITV. Leaving his party and prime minister fuming and relatives of coronavirus victims furious. I'm not surprised. Matt Hancock isn't a celebrity. He's a human skid mark. <laughs> they should change the name of the show to this. I'm an incompetent fuckwit who broke my own social distancing rules <laughs> by cheating on my wife. Get me out of here. <laughs> exactly, man. I hope he gets rinsed. And it's not just me. Listen to this quote from one of his own colleagues. I'm looking forward to him eating kangaroo penis. You can quote me on that. Damn right! <laughs> Damn right! His mouth will have more dick in it than a Channel 4 documentary. <laughs> are going to melt. Hello, is that Anton Jack? Yeah, feed him every animal bollock you can find. <laughs> your own, your own. He'll be doing every single Bush Tucker trial for two reasons. One, his appalling reign as health secretary, and two, imagine the faces he'll pull. Christ, if a football makes him do this... <laughs> <laughs> God knows what koala anus will do. It's so ridiculous. Have you seen why he said he's gone in? His decision to join the reality TV show I'm a Celebrity is his way of showing us his human side. His human side? <laughs> Have you seen how he walks? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a zombie going for a job interview. <laughs> he's so odd. Normal people don't stand next to women like this. He does that to Mike Tyndall, he'll knock his teeth out. <laughs> Hancock is so deluded. Have you seen why he said it's the right time for him to go to the jungle? He feels able to do so now because the government is stable. <laughs> what? The UK government is as stable as this bloke. There's more. Listen to this ridiculous justification for going on the show. It's a politician's job to go where the people are, not to sit in ivory towers in Westminster. Where the people are? <laughs> Your constituency is West Suffolk, and you've pissed off to Australia. <laughs> the only person glad you're 10,000 miles away is this lady. <laughs> He wasn't done. Check out this mesmerising bit of bullshit. Mr Hancock thinks it's a good way of promoting his work on dyslexia. He also has a book out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Promoting his work on dyslexia. How is that going to help dyslexics? <laughs> mummy, mummy, I've just seen Matt Hancock on TV and now I can spell the word wanker. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. This is the part of the story that shocked me most. The Tory party whip was taken from him pretty much immediately after the news broke, but Matt Hancock will still receive his MP salary. He's still getting paid. Exactly, man. You're right to make that noise like you're dying inside. <laughs> it, it, it was like, nah. <laughs> Listen to that man, Matt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> You've turned him into a cow. That's how angry people are. Some people can't afford heating, and we're paying for him to get a fucking suntan. And what makes it worse, there are reports he's also getting a fee of 400 grand. The country's not stable, but his bank balance is. Never mind eating animal balls, we should get the animals to jack off straight into his mouth. <laughs> and I've watched that. Let's be honest. His political career is over. He's going to spend the rest of his life doing shows like this. And here we go. Come your fucking dish and shut your fuck out! Look at his eating, look. Have you got enough in there? <laughs> 
give us some indication that you're here? Could you make a noise? <laughs> Can we go now? Please, please, we please. Go? Fuck that! <laughs> this is going to be special. So go away now. In political news, how about this for a massive piss take? Out of the jungle, but no regrets, as Matt Hancock finishes third on I'm a Celebrity. I just wanted to show what I'm just like as a person. Is it a greedy, incompetent prick? <laughs> How? How did he come first? Who voted for him? Yeah, my grand died in a care home, but then I saw Matt chewing a wallaby's cock and now I love him. <laughs> He's like Diana to me. <laughs> Is that all it takes to forgive him? What about the PPE contracts, the nursing home scandals? I mean, he broke his own COVID rules. We didn't see our loved ones for a year, and he grabbed his advisor like a fucking bowling ball. <laughs> and let's not forget, he's a serving MP. He wasn't doing his job, but he was still getting paid. And who pays MPs? Us! What is wrong with this country? Christ, if Harold Shipman was on Strictly, some people <laughs> would vote for him. I know he killed hundreds, but have you seen his Paso Doble? <laughs> MPs shouldn't be in the jungle. They should be working. I mean, have you seen the state of our economy? Tax rises, recession, and the biggest fall in disposable income ever. The Chancellor imposes the highest taxes since World War II. The picture is bleak. That's right, we have the highest taxes since World War II. Think about that. Our government has done the same to our economy as Adolf Hitler. <laughs> and if he was alive, he'd probably be on tipping point. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Man. We have a black hole of 55 billion, and all Jeremy Hunt blamed was this. These are global factors, uh, partly because of uh, what's happening in Ukraine, partly because of the pandemic. But no mention of the fact that Liz Truss's disastrous mini-budget cost the country a staggering 30 billion. Why don't they mention her? That's like me going to A&E with my knob stuck in a Christmas turkey <laughs> and just going, Jamie, bloody Oliver. <laughs> Dogs apparently know when you're having an affair and use body language to tell the truth. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so let me get this straight. A creature that is surprised by its own farts <laughs> can tell whether you have been shagging around. <laughs> One question, fucking how? <laughs> Are you a good boy? I am. <laughs> but you... You've been handing out dick like Pete Davidson. <laughs> You've got no self-respect. If you excuse me, I'm going to lick my penis. <laughs> Maybe if you could do this, you wouldn't be such a monster. <laughs> Mind you, if it is true, if dogs can tell you're having affairs, Matt Hancock's dog must have been like this. 